Since the internet boom 30 years ago, there have been many search engines like Yahoo, Bing, Ask, Yandex, but none of them even come close to competing with Google. Google today has a massive 90% market share when it comes to search engines. In fact, even Microsoft, who were the largest software company in the world at that time, tried to beat Google search by launching their own search engine, Bing. Today, Bing has a global market share of just 4%. But in spite of this, a young middle-class Indian boy from Chennai launched his own startup, Perplexity, to take on Google's search engine dominance. He's even being backed by Nvidia and Jeff Bezos. But why would he try to take on a search engine giant like Google? On 30th November 2022, OpenAI released ChatGPT to the world. In just five days, ChatGPT surpassed 1 million users and they're expected to reach 1 billion users by the end of 2025. Now, to put that in perspective, it took Google 13 years to reach 1 billion users. ChatGPT proved to be a better search engine than Google. The answers were instant. With Google, you had to search for a topic, go through multiple links to find the answer. But with ChatGPT, you just type in your question and you instantly get back the answer. In the early days, a lot of the answers that ChatGPT was giving out were wrong, but they got better. And they got better really, really fast. A lot of other players started entering this AI space. Claude was released by this company called Anthropic. Mistral, a French company, released their own AI model. Meta released Llama. And for the first time in 20 years, Google faced an existential threat. So even Google declared Code Red, stopped everything else that they were doing, and released BARD, and later the Gemini models. But Google has trillions of dollars to build AI models. Even Meta, which was previously Facebook, has trillions of dollars to build their AI models. OpenAI was founded by Elon Musk, who is one of the richest person in the world, and Sam Altman, who was the president of YC. All these big players had massive funds to build these AI models. How did a middle-class Indian boy from Chennai compete with these trillion dollar companies? Today, Perplexity is in the top charts on the iOS app store. They even have a 6% market share in the AI chatbot space and is one of the fastest growing AI startups in the world. But how did he do it? How did Arvind Srinivas make Perplexity into one of the fastest growing AI startups globally? I'm Varun Kuntur and you're watching Insights by TBH, a series where we deep dive into interesting business insights and strategies just like these. Arvind Srinivas graduated from IIT Madras and immediately after graduation, he joined OpenAI as a research intern in 2018. A year later in 2019, he joined the Google DeepMind research team as an intern. And then in 2022, went back to OpenAI as a research scientist. When ChatGPT3 was released, although they hit a million users in less than a week, it came with a big problem. The problem of hallucination. An AI hallucination is a situation where an AI model produces an output that is not factual or it's not correct, but it seems to be very well structured. Back then, if we asked ChatGPT any questions related to current affairs, it was not able to answer them. And the second problem was that whenever ChatGPT gave an answer, there was no mention of the source anywhere in it. So it was almost impossible for us to verify if the answer was correct or just another hallucination. Initially, Arvind started Perplexity to solve these specific issues. With Perplexity, when you ask a question, instead of directly giving you just the answer, you would always get the answer with its sources. Perplexity would only answer what exists on the web already and it clearly tells the user where every part of the answer is coming from with links to those sources. But how was Arvind able to solve this issue while trillion dollar companies like Google and OpenAI couldn't? While all these billion dollar companies were busy making their own AI models, Arvind chose a different route. They did not build any of their own AI models from scratch. Instead, they just used all of the AI models that were already out there. As users, we tend to prefer different models for different use cases. For example, when I use AI to write code, I primarily use the Gemini 2.5 Pro model these days. But if I'm writing a script for my YouTube videos, then I prefer the Claude 3.7 model. And I tend to use all of these models through perplexity almost like a search engine. I always head over to perplexity by default, like how we used to visit Google before. Then I type in my prompt, choose the model that I want to use and then hit search. Now I don't need to toggle between 20 tabs and multiple models and multiple conversations anymore. And I even get super accurate answers each time. Although perplexity has been a game changer for me personally, there's also another tool that I would highly recommend, especially if you're in business. Odoo. It's an all-in-one business management platform to make running your business very easy. 
It's really super simple, efficient and affordable platform that covers all your business needs from scheduling to project management, inventory and website. You can start with just the apps you need and add more as you grow. Udo's project management app helps you to keep everything on track. You can set up a project with customized steps, milestones, tasks and even subtasks to break down complex projects into manageable and trackable pieces. It does everything a good project management tool should do without making it complicated. Plus, being integrated with a lot of the other Udo apps, it automates most of the tedious work. The different new tabs makes it easier to know what's happening, like Kanban view, which shows every task as a card within different stages and all the key info mentioned about right there or the Gantt chart giving you a bird's eye view on the overall project. You can see who's working on what and the timeline. And then you've got the list view, which is a simple list, but allows you to make batch changes very easily. You can assign tasks and deadlines, add tags and organize progress using statuses that ensure nothing slips through the cracks. Within each task, you can also schedule activities like to-dos, calls, meetings and reminders, keeping your team fully aligned. You also have time sheets, of course. You can record the hours worked under the task and multiple people can log in hours worked if there's a team task. And the best part, collaboration is seamless with Udo. You can tag your colleagues, send emails, attach files and add notes directly within the task. It also allows multiple team members to work on the same content at the same time and you can evaluate performance, monitor costs and budgets all in one place. Udo is designed to grow with your business. So give it a try. Your first app is free for a lifetime with unlimited hosting and support. I've added the link in the description. Go check it out. But what is the real advantage of this? Well, you see, Perplexity gets three big advantages by doing this. One, almost every month a new AI model is being released by these big AI companies. At this point, everybody from OpenAI to Google to Meta to Elon Musk XAI is competing in this space. Not just them, even a lot of the Chinese models like DeepSea, Quen by Alibaba, Unyuan, Kimi are releasing some of the best AI models every few weeks. Now with so many AI models coming out, Perplexity doesn't need to spend billions of dollars on infrastructure and compute. They chose the middle ground, just like what Google did with search. Number two, like I mentioned before, every one of these AI models has its own speciality. Some models are really good at reasoning, while other models are really good with code and another with writing. This gives us the option to choose the model we need for our specific requirement. And the best part, we don't have to pay $20 for ChatGPT, $20 for Claude, and another $20 for Gemini. Perplexity gives us all of these models for just $20. They don't get caught up in any legal issues. Many of these models out there today are heavily censored, like Gemini and DeepSeek. And because of this, there are many legal cases on these models and they can be banned by any country at any point of time. Like recently, many media houses have filed copyright infringement case on OpenAI and DeepSeek has also been banned in many countries. But Perplexity does not have any AI model of its own, so they don't get caught in any of these legal issues. And even when there is a case against any particular model, Perplexity just removes that model from their list. And because of this entire strategy and their positioning, Perplexity is growing really, really fast and has become a major player in the AI industry. In November 2023, the world's largest tech company, NVIDIA, invested in Perplexity, making it worth $520 million. And NVIDIA has invested in the company in every single round since then. Then in April, Perplexity launched a new product called Enterprise Pro. After that, Perplexity became worth more than $1 billion, making it a unicorn. In June, another company called SoftBank invested in them. This made Perplexity worth three times more in just two months, making its valuation to $3 billion. By December of 2024, guess what? Perplexity was worth $9 billion. That means it grew 17 times bigger in just one year, making them one of the fastest growing AI companies ever. But this raises a question. Why can't the big tech companies like Google and OpenAI just replicate this model? Well, to be honest, they can. And Google did just that when they recently announced Agent Space. But there's still a big difference between what Google is doing versus how Perplexity is doing. While Google is currently targeting enterprise level solutions for now with only AI agents, Perplexity is building for the daily users. And these big giant tech corporations like Google and OpenAI have a reputation that they need to maintain with their models. Perplexity has not put itself in the category of an AI chatbot, but has described itself as an AI search engine, which has nothing to do with the AI models itself. And its only job is to give the best search results. And to do this, 
they can use any AI models and search engines they need. But can perplexity really be Google in search? Well, they might, but not anytime soon. You see, one of the big reasons for Google's monopoly in search wasn't just its search engine. Their web browser Chrome has a 68% market share today. And Google comes in as the default search engine in Chrome. And this is also one of the big reasons that OpenAI is also working on its very own browser. But very recently, Yan Lee Kun said that I am not interested in LLMs anymore. Does this mean that a lot of these LLMs like ChatGPT and Gemini have reached their potential? Well, we are making a detailed video on that topic. So subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on that video. Until next time, bye bye.